we'll guide you through how to make an All The Mods 9 Minecraft server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So first of all, can we quit off All The Mods 9 or Minecraft? And we are assuming you already have All The Mods 9 installed on your computer. If you don't, all you need to do is have Minecraft installed and own it. And then you can go and get an app called CurseForge. And here you can go and get a load of mod packs, including All The Mods 9, and you can then go and easily play it. But to continue with the guide, what you need to do is go into the description or the pinned comment and you need to click on the link to Apex Hosting. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. They're who we're going to be using to create this Minecraft server. There's so many benefits to using Apex. They've got one click install mod packs, which we're going to be using in this video. DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support which is going to be super useful if you run into any problems, you can go and use their live chat assistant. Although it should be super simple to do, there's instant setup and so many other awesome benefits. So all you want to do is go and click on get started, choose your game, in this case it's Minecraft, and scroll down. So when it comes to choosing your plan, there are quite a few options here, but with using all the mods 9, you should have at least an 8 gigabyte Minecraft server. If not, go a little bit higher just to avoid any lag. And it will depend on how many players can be playing. But yeah, minimum have an 8 gig server, but ideally go a little bit higher. You can then click on order now. It'll go and take a moment to load and you'll be taken to the configuration page. And where it says server version, what you can do is this can always be changed later, but you can also just go and type in all the mods 9 now and you can go and install it. As you can see, there's a few variations. The one I use is all the mods 9 no frills. You can go and change this later though, it doesn't matter right now. And what you can do is go and purchase. After you've purchased your server, you will then receive an email with the details to go and log into your server. So what you can then do is go to the top right and click on panel and you can go and sign in. As I said, you'll be sent your details and you can then go and click on your server. Mine's just here. And then you can go and scroll down and you can look on the left and you'll see some information about your server and scroll down to game file and do just make sure you've gone and select all the mods nine. I haven't already, so I'll type that in now, but you may have gone and set it up when you first purchased your server. As I said, I'm using no thrill, so I'll select that there. I'll then click on change version and I'll go and create a new world and I'll press on restart now. If you want to go and see the progress of your server startup, as it will take a moment or two, especially because I've just installed it, go and click on console over to the left and you can go and see, as you can see for me, the spawn area is just still being prepared. And while you're on the console, what I like to do is go and OP myself as well. So all you need to do is type in OP and then your username. This basically makes you a server admin. Now I'm already in OP. Now what you want to do is go and launch all the mods nine and we can now go and join it. So to go and join it, you can go and use the subdomain or IP address and port. So in this case, I'll just use a subdomain. So I'll come over to the right and click on the copy button or you can just go and type it in. And now let's go into Minecraft. And so here we are. Now let's go and click on multiplayer and click on add server. And you can then type in your subdomain or IP address. Um, in this case, I copied it. So I'll just press control V to paste it in. I'll press done. And as you can see, there it is. Then what we can do is click on join server. And here we are, we're now in the server. And of course you can now go and start playing with your friends. So you can go and give them your subdomain or your IP address and port for your server. And you can start playing together. And that's simply it. And now if I just come back to the server, you can go and see some more info about it. You can go and check out player history and all the other awesome features that Apex have and make backups and there's so much we can go and cover. But yeah, you can go and get playing with your friends, which is what you wanted. And of course your server is going to be up 24 seven as well. So your friends can join even when you are online. And also you can apply the exact same steps to go and use other mod packs as well. All you need to do is go and choose the pack you want and you can reinstall it. It's super simple. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. And once again, a big thank you to Apex for sponsoring this video. It really does support us. And we've got a lot more con content to come with Apex as well as other guides as well. We look forward to catch you in the next one when we can go and solve your problem again.